welcome back everyone and if you're new to this channel we do a lot of family friendly adventures around the UK with the occasional site reviews. Today we're at the Primrose Valley Haven site in Yorkshire. We'll have a bunch of footage of the site itself and places in and around the area that we visited. So if you're thinking about booking this site but you want a good visual so you've got a better idea of what you're getting, this is the video for you. Stay tuned for the end for our final thoughts, what we liked, disliked and whether we thought it was value for money. So we were a family of five staying in a two bedroom bronze caravan. As you can see, this has got a nice big open plan living area which also has a fold out bed. The kitchen had everything we needed, was spacious and didn't feel cramped at any time. The bathroom again had everything you would expect and everything you need. The only downside being the window right above the toilet, meaning especially as a guy you needed the roller blind down at all times for privacy. The shower was fine, we found it easy enough to use without any problems. Moving on to the small bedroom with two single beds in it. We actually prefer the two bedroom caravans for this because you get a lot more room to work with. Whereas in the three bedroom caravan everything's a lot more squished and claustrophobic. This also makes the master bedroom a lot bigger. The beds were comfortable, the sheets were clean and it also came with a hair dryer which we didn't use so I can't comment on the quality of it. Only complaint was this super annoying light on the heat and control which would have definitely kept us awake if we hadn't found a way to cover it with a box and some clothing. This was the biggest site we had been to yet so we weren't sure if we were going to struggle to find our way around but luckily everything was easy to find except for the beach access which was about a 15 minute walk from the site. Time to test our map reading skills to see if we can find the beach from here. Uh, front. Stop. Think we can do it? Yeah. No. <laughs> As we head towards the beach, we're past the fun works. This is where all the uh, entertainment complexes, the swimming pool, restaurants, arcades. There's loads of entertainment on during the day. The arcades, if you've got thousands of pounds to blow, will keep your kids entertained the entire holiday. But we try to avoid that as much as possible. About a minute's walk past this, you get to the view of the Bay Beach. Unfortunately though, this private path here is closed off and you have to make about a 10 minute walk to the left hand side to actually get access to the beach. Once you do get down to the beach though, the beach was very large, there was very few people on it, it wasn't busy or overcrowded, the views were absolutely stunning and most importantly the bay itself was very very calm, the water stayed shallow for a very very long way out so it's really safe for the kids to play in. That's really pretty. Uh, hill's kind of nice too. Here's I like this. The whole beach. And here's my shoes. <laughs> I've never tried it, but like, why on the beach? Why? Wish. I'm gonna ask my dad where she put this. Crap. Dad, I'm gonna put it somewhere that I can see, and then when we leave. I'll remember, I'll see it and remember and I'll take it with me and uh, like put it in the bin. What the heck? Who would leave like a half a bottle? Maybe they were drunk or, or they're just really stupid. The girls made friends with 
one of these little locals that came to visit every day too. So moving on to some of the on-site activities. This is one of the little playgrounds near the lake house which also houses the climbing wall activity that you can book your kids onto if they're up for it. This one here is the aerial adventure climbing activity. This is the mini adventure. This is just the smaller version for little kids. Moving on to the boating lake, we had a shot on the paddle boats here. And there's also motor boats, but only one was working at the time. This seating area next to the park was a nice little addition. The had, I believe it was Moana, playing on the big screen here all week. It's just a nice place to sit, uh, have a drink or something to eat while your kids are entertained. The site also has its own fairground and mini golf as you can see. There was only a handful of rides but it was enough to make the kids feel like they've had a big day out, they've been had a nice big adventure. Been on a roller coaster, dodgems, helter skelter, a few for the little ones. Good morning everyone, so this is our last day here and uh, just some final thoughts on how we enjoyed our time. We spent four nights here in total, we stayed in a bronze caravan, it cost a total of £250 but that's because we paid the extra 30 quid so that we could choose where we were staying. Um, what was your best bits Lindsay? Um, I thought the swimming pool was fantastic, um, they had a lot of different pools for different age ranges um, and the arcades was really good too. Yeah, I would say probably the same thing. Well it was mainly the pools, well for me um, the pools is both the pros and cons. The indoor pool was excellent but one of the main reasons we chose this place was for the outdoor pool but uh, despite asking on the phone they said we could go in whenever we want without cooking. When we got here it says it's closed during the weekdays and it's only open on weekends. So that was one gripe for me that I really wasn't happy with. Do you have any cons that you want to talk about? Um, that, because we're really looking forward to going to the outside, outdoor pool and how expensive the shop is. Mm, so the mini market. That's, yeah, something that's normally a pound will cost you three or four pound here. So make sure you bring all your shopping before you, before you come. Yeah, what about you girls? What did um, you enjoy and what didn't you like? My favourite part was swimming. Swimming in the indoor pool? Mm -hmm. what about I you, liked um, doing the pyjama party with my friends and the swim pool. Playing with your friends, yeah that's another good point. Um, it's quite quiet around here um, on the overall site. I would say it's quite peaceful and quiet and the roads are, are at all times I felt like the children were very safe just on that scooter, scooting up and down the roads. I never felt like the it was near any main roads or any cars were going too fast or anything like that. The beach, the <laughs> beach nearby. Uh, I'm yet to look up that the name of what it's called. 
but let's for now let's just call it Primrose Valley Beach. But there is a beach nearby. Um, it's about a 15, 20 minute walk from the site because the main access is closed off. But regardless, it's still it's a lovely beach. And what I didn't know about until I got here is um, although it's huge, it's a natural bay and it stays very shallow, very far out. Like you have to walk really far to go deep and it's dead, dead calm. So it's really safe for the kids to play in and it's a huge beach. So uh, one day we went there, there was loads of people. Even though there was loads, it still wasn't packed because there was so much space. Rose, what about you, darling? What have you enjoyed most and least about this holiday? Well, to be honest, probably um, there's a lot of things I enjoy when you think. Like the web. About the site. Mm -hmm, Specifically um, about this site, Primrose Valley. I do like all the beaches and stuff. And the the caravans are nice too. Yeah. It's a nice place to chill. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, we paid for, I think the only activities we paid for was to go on the, we went on all the rides at the fair and we went on the paddle boats. I would say the, the paddle boats was a fair price, you pay per boat and you can get six people on a boat. And the fair was an average of three pound a ride, which is probably an average price for most fairs nowadays, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's quite, it's it's quite, uh, it's quite canny that it's got its own little fair on site. Although there is only about six or seven rides. Uh, one of the only, one of the only other downsides I have as well was the go karts. There's a big sign saying, "Fun for all the family." <laughs> Yet yeah, you've got to be at least like 13, 14 year old before you're able to even ride on it. So it's a bit of a joke, that to be honest. To drive on it, so the younger kids can be a passenger, but they're not allowed to drive the go karts. Yeah, but we had a bunch of we came with a bunch of other friends and they all wanted to go kart together and they weren't able to do that. Which again is something that wasn't wasn't explained beforehand. Mm -hmm. uh, so overall we all had a great time and I think it was definitely worth money. For two hundred and fifty pounds for four days, we all had a really lovely time. Yeah. Uh, there's loads of things nearby. There's uh there's Whitby and Scarborough and uh, there's loads of beautiful beaches. We went to the drinking dinosaur, we had an absolutely lush time there. Uh, yeah, so I hope you I hope you guys find this video useful. If you do, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more family reviews or some more adventure videos, uh, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Everyone, say bye. Bye. bye.